So, uh, the second and third one is about volume and pressure. So let's take a look at what the units are, what units are used in those two quantities. So in volume, you have units such as meter cube, meter uh, ml, dm cube, and cm cube. Obviously, there are also a bunch of others, but uh, basically those are the most common things that you can find. And then for pressure, we will have Pascal, the atmosphere, ATM, uh, PA is the Pascal, core, you have the millimeters of mercury, MMHG, you have centimeters of mercury, CMHG, and pounds per square inch. Okay, so basically, uh, you will encounter different units in different problems, and so you have to know how to convert them. So let's review how we convert something. So if we have a uh, an original number like for example 50 ml and you want to convert that to something like a liter you always remember that the method for doing this conversion is you start with what is your given which is the 50 ml so you have your given and then you multiply that given with a conversion equivalent And then once you convert, once you multiply it with conversion equivalent, you will now get your target unit, right? So for example here, this is your given, so you, you write your given. And then now you write your conversion equivalent. So where do you get this conversion equivalent? So basically you are asking how much, how many ml is equivalent to one liter. So you find that here. Right, so this is the conversion equivalent you are targeting, and then all you need to do is copy that but in fraction form. Okay, copy that in fraction form, and then you just have to rearrange these values in these units such that they cancel out with your given. Now, since ml here is at the top, you want that ml to be at the bottom in your fraction so that they cancel out. So you write here. Uh, 1000 ml and then the one liter you write up the top because when you now proceed with the operation these ml cancel out these mls unit of mls at the top and at the bottom they cancel out leaving you with liters and now you have 50 times 1 divided by a thousand so obviously that would be 0 0.050 liters okay so Pretty simple step, you get the given, multiply it with a conversion equivalent, and then you get the answer, right? Now, uh, so you do that with volume, you can also do that with pressure. So for, for example, uh, I might get something like uh, 1,520 Tor is equivalent to how many ATM? This is what I want to ask. So again, just like before, I'll copy the given, which is 1,524. I'll multiply it with a fraction. That fraction will be the conversion equivalent. And hopefully, by multiplying it, it with this, you get the answer. And where do I get the conversion equivalent? You have this long equation. So you basically are targeting tor and atm so you pick out those two you pick out where is the tor and where is the atm so basically you're going to use those two never mind the other ones because you're not using them so atm and tor so again just like before you want to put this unit down below so that they it, they cancel out and then that unit above above so now you have 760 for the tor then one for the ATM so uh, again they cancel out that gives you an answer and I believe the answer is to ATM okay so again remember that these are just units this is atmosphere this at one atmosphere is actually the pressure that we can feel from our own atmosphere if we are at sea level obviously if we go higher somewhere like for example somewhere in Tibet that was the atmospheric pressure drops down but uh, 1 ATM is the atmosphere of our own atmosphere at sea level okay 
Thor is just another unit. Millimeters of Mercury is another unit. Centimeters of Mercury is another unit. Pounds per square inch and Pascal. Okay? Now for the volume, you can have these uh, units here. And uh, to give you another insight about how the volume is converted, how volumes are converted, uh, take for example, let's say you know how many you know how many meters are there in one centimeter. This is a unit of length. You know that in one meter there is one hundred centimeter, right? Centimeters. Now, even if that's a unit of length, you can actually convert that to a unit of volume. Because remember, volume is just length times width times height, right? So if it's a cube, the volume of that cube would be the side, the length of the side cubed, right? So basically what we can do is we can just raise this to the cube both sides. And what that does is you would have 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, meters and meters and meters, which is meter cube. And then that gives you 100 times 100, that gives you 10,000, yes, times 100, that gives you a million cm cube. So that's also another way that you can get an equivalent. For example, here you don't find meter cube to cm cube and you want to know. So that's the way, that's another way to do it. Or you can just say, well, one meter cube, uh, I'll get one meter cube, I'll multiply it with, you know, I know the one meter cube is 1,000 liters from here. And then I multiply that and say, well, I know the one liter is 1,000 ml. So 1,000 ml. And then, so... Basically, what you're doing here is you're canceling out this, giving you giving you liters, and you're canceling liters, giving you ml, and then finally you take this one, the last one, and say in one ml there is one cm cube. So notice when you do that, the whole thing, that's one thousand to one times one thousand. That's one million divided by one one one. So that's just one million cm cube. Okay?